Hi, I'm Paul Bono and welcome to Piano with Willie. In this lesson we're going to be discussing the fundamentals, the building block basics of Boogie Woogie style. So, uh, what I just played for you is uh, something that in the end you're going to be able to play. All the component pieces of what I just did, uh, and even more actually than what I just played for you now, we're going to discuss. So the lesson's going to start out with a basic overview, um, a review for some of you of the fundamental structure, so it's really just a 12 bar blues structure, right? And there's three inherent chords in that structure, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. We're going to talk about um, the different bass lines in the left hand that I might be playing. We're going to talk about what eight to the bar means. You've maybe heard eight to the bar in reference to boogie woogie music. So we'll explore some left hand bass lines. We'll explore some right hand, all the chords, all the inversions, some comping exercises, some exercises using the metronome. Um, which you heard me just play with, and I did that on purpose. And the reason I did that, uh, played the intro with the metronome, is because uh, I'm going to be utilizing the metronome quite a bit in these lessons, giving you some things to practice, showing you, demonstrating, you know, the different ways that you can work with the metronome, putting it on the quarter note, putting it on the eighth note, things like that. It's a really, really valuable tool, tool for practicing, especially when so much of what we're trying to do right now is establish that groove, that boogie-woogie groove. Um, making the right hand and the left hand sort of um, an entire band when they work together. So we'll talk about that, putting our hands together, getting that groove down, using the metronome. We'll talk about some of the right hand riffs that I was doing. Uh, I'm going to give you a bunch of right hand riffs to practice. And we'll talk about um, transposing that riff, you know, from C7 to F7 to G7. And uh, of course, all the other keys that you're going to want to play. And we're just going to play in C for this lesson. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, we'll stay in the key of C, but of course you're going to want to apply this to all of the keys. Um, so we'll talk about a bunch of other bass lines, some right hand riffs. We're going to talk about uh, practicing with straight eighth notes as opposed to swing eighth notes and how to use the metronome to help you to do that. We'll talk about how to um, take you know, the basic riffs that I'm going to show you and vary them or vary the left hand, um, you know, taking a riff like this. Uh, you know, getting into some other riffs, and ultimately getting into that you know really quintessential boogie woogie bass line, stuff like that. I'm going to show you a couple scales to think about if you haven't already, um, and some ideas to sort of create your own riffs. So, you know, using blues scales and sort of knowing the theory behind the chords to create riffs of your own that you can then use and apply over this 12 bar form that we're using over this bass line in our left hand. And then ultimately talking about the importance of um, having an intro and an ending to any piece that you're playing. Not, not just here at the Boogie Woogie style, but you know, in general approaching um, pretty much every song you've ever encountered has had some form of an introduction and some form, some form of an ending and how those two pieces are really important to glue the whole arrangement together. So I'll show you a couple different endings that I've, um, I've uh, I've seen that are quite, you know, conventional endings that you'll approach, endings that you'll encounter quite a bit. I want to give you the, um, the fundamental concepts behind those endings and an in, in introduction as well, the one that I just played, I'll show you how to play that. So there's a bunch of information in this lesson. It's a really deep uh, lesson in terms of the amount of information you're going to get and the amount of explanation that you'll get to those pieces of information. And of course, uh, the, the long-term goal is always to arm you with the tools that are necessary to not just play what I'm playing, but to take your playing to the next level so that you have all the fundamental skills to grow and advance as a player. So I'm really excited to get started in this lesson. It's a lot of great stuff to practice. I'll see you inside. Okay, so Boogie Woogie sometimes is referred to as eight to the bar. And the reason that is is because a lot of the times the bass line, your left hand in this instance, is playing in 4-4 time is playing all eighth notes. So in other words, in 4-4 four, four time you have eight eighth notes in a bar. So that's where you get lines like this. Or, right, so eight eighth notes in a bar, eight to the bar, sometimes how it's referred to. So the bass line that we're going to look at to get started here is this kind of simple bass line that does have eight eighth notes in a bar. So 
So we're playing this figure under each of the chords, which means we're going to be transposing it as the chord changes. 